What is up? Today we're gonna be talking about the moon. I just learned some crazy shit. I just want to share with you guys. So first of all, the moon. You might already know this, but it is lines up perfectly to make solar eclipses. So the moon is exactly 400 times smaller in diameter than the sun, and also 400 times closer than the sun. So it makes a perfect eclipse. So that's obviously proof of God designing the moon. Or you could say, or you might think it's aliens, I don't know, like, I'd say that's God, like, basically just designing it, or just, you know. So then, but then something else I just realized, which is just so amazing, basically, well, I've always, like, known that the, the moon kind of has a yin-yang in it. So if you look at this, the moon basically has this, like, little yin-yang, one part gray, one part white. And so in the very middle of that, I looked it up on the map, and it's actually a very important place. Because um, it's called Sinus Medi, which means Central Bay, okay? So it's actually, it's the very center of the yin-yang of the moon. That's where I looked on the map, the center of this yin-yang. And it is called the Central Bay, Sinus Medi. And the reason it's called that is because it's actually the intersection of the moon's equator and the prime meridian, Okay? So that is amazing. The actual intersection of the equator and the prime meridian is the very middle of the yin-yang, which is on the moon. So if that's not proof, I don't know what is. That is complete proof. That on top of the fact that it's exactly 400 times smaller than the sun and 400 times far, um, closer than the sun, so it forms perfect eclipses. All right, you guys. So this is really amazing. I can't wait till we actually set up colonies on the moon and uh, obviously Mars and further into the solar system is going to be awesome. So yeah, this is very, very amazing what's going on on the moon. Like who knows, the NASA definitely covered up uh, a bunch of stuff about the moon, that's for sure. Like there's reports that uh, astronauts saw aliens there and all this different stuff about the moon. So yeah, it's we'll see what happens. Very interesting. I mean, I just really hope that the future capital of the moon will be at Sinus Medi, you guys, that would be awesome, the moon capital, Sinus Medi, be such an amazing thing, because they have, uh, on one side, they have the light uh, colored rocks, and then on the other side, they have the black colored rocks, and then above them, the earth would be there the whole time, right, just right there in the very center of the sky, so yeah, I hope that the capital of the moon is on Sinus Medi, or at least, like, something cool on uh, when they colonize the moon. So the moon is actually very critical to life. Uh, in, the, in the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna said, uh, as the moon, he is a, like the giver of life-giving juices or something. But um, the moon, without the moon, there might not be any seasons on Earth. So a lot of places would be a lot more inhospitable. And also, another thing about the moon is that it blocks lots of lots of meteors and asteroids that could be um that could potentially get into earth's orbit and then crash into the earth but instead they would just hit the moon so that moon just blocks a lot of asteroids and stuff like that um so yeah moon is very interesting uh i think yeah it's sinus medi though bro sinus medi that <laughs> is like the center of the moon literally the center of the moon the prime meridian and the equator, and also the center of the yin-yang of the moon. It's just amazing. Yeah, the moon has always been very mysterious. There's a lot of legends and lore about the moon. Uh, some people actually believe that the moon is hollow because of um, when um, some astronauts like purposely crash-landed some stuff onto the moon. Uh, apparently, it like rang like a bell or something. So no, that but to be honest, that's not even that's not evidence. That's not even close to, to being evidence that the moon is hollow. Like I highly doubt the moon is hollow. Why would the moon be hollow? There's there's no reason for that. How big of a project would that be to hollow out the moon, and then for what? That's fucking retarded. I mean, sure, like, maybe there's aliens, like, underground or something. 
but it's not hollow. The whole moon is not hollow. Yeah, some like I've seen on Ancient Aliens, some like some people think the moon itself is a spaceship. Yeah. And like that's that's just retarded. That's a ridiculous and stupid uh, <laughs> idea. That honestly, like I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how anyone could believe that. And, and like, and, and if they believe that, they are not credible. Okay, the moon is not a spaceship. That's so stupid. Okay, like honestly, how hard would it be to make a moon-sized spaceship? <laughs> and why? What? Like what? Um. Yeah. So, uh, but there are some cool things about the moon, though. Okay. So one thing that might be true about the moon is um, it might actually be design, designed and, you know, either by God or by aliens. But, like, I've heard a theory that it's actually a uh, soul-sealing instrument, basically. And what it does is, like, it literally keeps souls coming back to Earth and keeps them on Earth. And, but, like, it is kind of true, though. Because, like, Lord Krishna said, those who go to the moon planet when they die, that, may, that means they're going to be reincarnated on Earth. And moon relates to spirit. And obviously, moon is attracted and, and opposite of sun, which relates to soul. So, like, the moon spirit sealing the souls. So yeah, the moon is not a spaceship. It makes people get reincarnated back on Earth. Basically.